Hello, my name is Joanne Altieri, and this art chat is for um, Professor Ann Doherty's uh, Humanities 5500 class at Baker University. I chose as my focus today um, Pierre Bonnard. Pierre Bonnard was not on Ann's list of artists, but he is my favorite artist, and I this gave me an opportunity to do some research on him. Bonnard was one of the great reductionist painters, uh, as opposed to Rembrandt, who would have focused on the whole of an image or the whole of a, of a work of art, trying to portray some moral or lesson to, to his paintings. Bonnard focused on the parts. It was the parts that were important. The parts made up the whole. Uh, he belonged to a group of artists in Paris called Les Nabi. Um, this group, that, that means, that's a Hebrew word that means uh, the prophet. And this group of people included his lifelong friend, Edward Villard, who was also a famous uh, artist. And they believed that everything should be a work of art, whether it's a room screen or a fan or whatever. So they, they, they made everything into a work of art. The group wanted to create art with symbolic and spiritual uh, aspect to it. Uh, Bonnard never worked outside of his studio. He wouldn't go outside and set up his easel. He would go and do drawings and he would take copious detailed notes and then he would come back and as he said in his own words, he would dream about the painting. Uh, and then he would try to uh, recreate his first impressions of what he saw when he looked at the scene. He didn't like to paint uh, in the confines of a frame, so he would tack a canvas up on a wall and paint as if there were no borders to what he was, to his, to his canvas. Uh, he, um, one of his qu most famous quotes was, that a painting is a series of daubs, uh, which when linked to one another, end up forming an object. So he would paint in layers, layers upon layers, and color was absolutely paramount in his pictures. He used very many complementary colors, the opposites on the color wheel, especially blues and oranges. Uh, he focused on, and he was also very, very influenced uh, by Japanese art at the time. His subjects tended to be um, mostly just family and friends and the household pets. He spent a great deal of time with, uh, with his family and his close, uh, close friends. Spent the summers on his uh, farm, his family farm, and he, all of the family members were subjects then of his painting. Uh, especially uh, his wife, Martha. Uh, she's focused right here in this painting, which is a very bad copy of one of uh, Bonnard's um, paintings entitled Dining Room on the Garden. Uh, he painted Martha often, and um, even though she was over 70 years old when she died, he was continuing to paint her as a young and a beautiful woman. He very much focused on the positive, the celebration of life. He also painted uh, self-portraits, landscapes, still lifes, and um, he also worked in other mediums as well as oil. So he worked with lithographs and, and made posters. He even designed a stained glass window for Tiffany. Uh, one of the first times that he was ever paid for his art was on a poster that he had designed for a French company called France Champagne. And it was uh, such a success uh, that he was paid a hundred francs for this poster. And that was really an astronomical amount of money to be paid uh, back in 1891 for a piece of, for a poster of art. It was said that Toulouse-Lautrec liked this poster so much that he got a hold of one and put it up on his studio uh, to look at as inspiration. 
Um, there's a really great website if you want to just get a quick glimpse of the type of paintings that Bonnard did through his life. Uh, it's on a website called Olga's Gallery, and the web address is www.abcgallery.com slash capital B slash Bonard slash Bonard dot html. I really do hope that you visit it. It's, it's a lovely, quick site, a uh, way to go through his art and see his influence, his Japanese influence, and, and I really love his paintings. I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you very much.